Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I can't remember what store it was. I think it was like Field and Stream or something a couple of videos ago. And I saw this rod and it's a rod I used to use back in the day when I was like in high school and every rod I... Jesus Christ, these people in these loud trucks here in Alabama. <laughs> but every rod I used to use was like a cheap a budget fishing rod per se. And this was like by far my favorite. And I figured if Walmart has it, these rods used to be like $20, $25 and it's still probably pretty high up on my list. I haven't used one in a while. It's a great budget rod and I caught a lot of fish on it. I used to use it for like my frogging and like heavy setup rod. It wasn't but a medium heavy, but it was like a long time ago and I kind of knew what I was doing, but I really didn't know what I was doing. So we're gonna send it inside of this Walmart here today and see if they have it. Hopefully they do. I haven't seen one in a while. All right, um, where would it be at? This isn't the fishing rod aisle. We probably need to be on like the fishing aisle. Um, wait, they have a lot of stuff here. This isn't like my home Walmart. This is one that's like five, 10 minutes away from my home Walmart, but they have a lot of stuff in here. I might end up not buying the combo and just buying a whole bunch of fish and stuff I don't need. Uh, let's see, let's see. We are looking for rods. Rods are up here, not at the bottom. Really, anytime I'm, I know I can't be the only one. Anytime I see fish and stuff, I'm like, I need that, I need that, I need that. And the stuff like I get home and I see I already have. But I mean, you know, it is what it is. Okay, I'm really hoping that they have them in here because I haven't seen them in a while. Like when I come to Walmart, like doing challenges and stuff, normally I just look and I have a pretty good idea of where everything is in Walmart, but I don't see it. Not yet, at least. Guys, if this video gets 500 likes, I will do a spin cast rod and reel challenge, or maybe just a reel and I'll find a rod to put it on. But I've been wanting to do like a spin cast challenge. I could do that one. That one's 24. That's not bad at all. And I haven't fished with a spin cast reel in probably since I was like little, little. Or I could do like the cheapest spin cast reel. I don't know. Let me know if you want to see that, but 500 likes and we'll do one of the two. We'll find a spin cast reel somewhere. I saw Yak Pack did this one. This one's like, this one is pretty heavy. I'm going to have the Walmart spin reel. We need to get on the walmart challenges i know they had a bait caster i didn't know that it's been real it honestly doesn't feel bad in the pack at least all right rods 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 it's not up there it's not up there is it is this like a little baby shark here on this side oh there it is there it is this is it this is the this is like a new one the berkeley cherrywood hd let's see how much it is it is berkeley berkeley um i don't know i don't see a price i mean let's see if they have a casting because this is spinning but i haven't done a spinning rod challenge in a while this is the only one they have so i think i might just send the spinning rod challenge not gonna lie guys i have not used one of these rods in probably about three or four years but i think i have two at the house and they've changed a lot they kind of look better i like the new like cherrywood design on it looks pretty good this is definitely like one of the best budget rods in my opinion but for twenty dollars you definitely can't beat it the next one will probably be the vengeance rod i still use a couple of these actually but the cherry wood is definitely goaded in my opinion and then this is a two-piece i like two pieces because you can like keep them in your truck or your car and you can always be prepared if a fishing session ever breaks out i keep a rod tube in my car with a few two-piece rods in it so this will probably end up in there when i get done with it but we're gonna go check out see how much it is i know it's not any more than 25 dollars so we're gonna go send that these are great rods if you're just trying to build up your arsenal Guys, I have not used the spinning combo in so long. There's a little dead crawfish right there. Looks like he might be part of like a, it looks like he's been cooked, so he might not, there's probably not crawfish in here. Barely, but he'll like swim under the dock and swim back out. I can just barely see him. The good thing about like these young bass, like they have the black tail and normally when I'm bed fishing, if I can't see the fish that well, that's what I look for is just that tail. Oh. <laughs> he just break our worm? He just broke our worm. Guys, I have another one right here on bed. Um, he just robbed me of my little worm, but he'll be back, I'm sure. I was moving from the spot and I saw like this line with spots in the water and I was like, I bet that's some bass. And I cast it to him and the line swam off. Cause the visibility in this water, it's not like chocolate visibility, but it's just kind of, it's cloudy. So it's kind of hard to see. I don't see him at the moment, but I'm sure he's down there somewhere. like he wants it he'll like swim by it really fast and aggressive but look he has it but he doesn't have all of it he has it he has it there he goes 
Hey, gotcha, buddy. This is a really pretty fish. Oh no, oh no. Hey, don't go back in the water now. Hey, where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> First fish on the cherry wood. It's been a minute. Look how colorful he is. He's like reflective on his mouth right here and by his eye. Huh. In the overfish pond, we got our first little small big mouth bass. Super pretty. This might be like one of the prettiest fish I've caught. But I don't know what it is about bass. I'm just now starting to realize how they have like these like pretty scales up top. These are like really pretty. Something about it. I want to, ouch, that kind of hurt, buddy. I want to get my house wrapped in that pattern. All right, see you later, dude. There he is, there he is, there he is, got him baby, <laughs> got him, we have to be persistent on this one, he's a little bit bigger, I know they always look smaller under the water, but he's like a lot bigger than I thought he was, I thought he was like dink dink, but he's not bad. I just pulled it out, whatever that is, I don't really know, but here's our fish guys. Little really dark lateral line. Super pretty. We're gonna go ahead and let them go. See you later, dude. Oh, 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 oh. There he goes. There he goes. He should be grateful that we just pulled that thing out of his mouth. It's kind of nasty coming out. There's one. Hey, that's the first one on the flute worm. Oh, he just spit it out. All right, guys, so just a little update on today. Reed, um, we left the pond that we were at. Reed was nice enough to let us come out with him today to a, another spot. Hey, there you go. Reed got on himself a fish. Oh my goodness. All right, guys, we got fish number one at the new spot. See you later. Hey. A little scar on his head. He's cute. There's one. It's a nice long fight. I haven't caught this one before. I haven't caught one this far in a while. Whoa, pretty strong. Hey, it is Big Mouth Bass number two for the day. It's the biggest one of the day so far. Hopefully we can get on number eight, nine, 10, and 11, and 12. Look, it's a bass. Yes, no, no, okay. Normally dogs like go crazy when they see a fish. <laughs> He's like, what the heck? Are we walking or driving? Huh? Gonna walk or drive? little ones but it definitely counts number two three five for the video that counting skills right there was great see you later have fun oh that's a that man ow that doesn't feel good gosh Guys, there's another fish. That's fish number six. Nah, I just stepped in the ant bed and they're on me. That does not feel good at all. All right, there's fish number six. There's another monster, baby. Let's go. Monster number seven. This one has a few little scars on them. Feisty. 
On, on, on. See you later. All right, guys, my camera battery has been about to die all day, and the fact that it hasn't died yet just shows how good of a camera this is. Hopefully, it doesn't die while I'm doing this outro, but I'm gonna show y'all the new cherry wood and like the old one really quick before we get done with this video. This is the this is the new one right here, my friend, the old one. All right, I have two of them. That right there is the old one. You can tell it's had a little bit of use, just a little bit. And I also have another one over there too. There's another one somewhere, yeah. That red one right there. But, see, I've had two of these rods before in the past and I loved them. I think this one is a seven foot medium heavy. Yeah, seven foot medium heavy. This is my first spinning cherry wood and it works pretty good. I'll definitely say that I would keep this in my car and just have it for like, you know, whenever you need a rod and you don't have one, just like one of those type feels. But I really, really like this new one. It feels, it's a medium, so it has a little bit different feel than the medium heavy, but the medium feels really nice for a spinning rod too. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with me today. Let me know what you thought about today's video down below in the comments. I appreciate all the support on the channel. Don't forget to fish smart and have a good day.